Hello, right, okay, in WooCommerce, for you to have multiple shipping options at the end, you want to go to, on the left-hand side of, of um, WordPress, you want to go to WooCommerce, and then click on Settings, which brings us to this page here. And then up here, we want to click Shipping. Okay, so you can have all the options along here, so people can pick up from you, um, international options, you can have free shipping, you can have flat rate here. So if we, um, on the shipping options tab, we've got enable shipping, enable shipping calculator on the cart page, um, display shipping message with the radio or have a drop down, it's up to you, shipping destinations, default shipping address um, or default to billing address. Uh, and, and you can also have it that you only ship to the user's billing address if you, if you don't want to, them to have different shipping addresses, which can sort of help with fraud and things like that. But I think in this day and age, you know, it can be quite restrictive. So, but there is that option if you want to. You can also only ship to countries you sell to, which you can um, edit here. So if you don't want to ship internationally or you just want to ship in Europe or you just want to ship within a certain um, group of countries, then you can you can set that here. So here's all the options and, and, and you can see which ones are installed. So I've got um, table rate shipping, which is a plugin that I've installed here. But what we're going to have a look at is the flat rate. So if we go over to um, flat rate here, so don't forget WooCommerce, settings, shipping and then we're going to click flat rate here here we go so i would enable it you can call it anything you like so available to either specific countries or all of all allowed countries which we set before is the shipping taxable how much is the cost per order so that um so if that would be, um, let's have that as zero, that basically uh, adds on to whatever your shipping costs, it would add that on top. And we can add in additional rates here. So, for instance, it may be that we want to have priority shipping here. So the option name would be... I'm just having a look at what we want to do. So we'd have the option name. We then have how much extra it would cost. And then what we would do is have whether you want it to be per order, per class, or per item. So if you, normally it would be per cart, um, so you know, per order. So you'd have like an extra five pounds if you wanted it to go priority, you know, on top of your normal shipping or something like that. If you want, if you sold, so for instance, we at the Keepsake Company have different classes because we have different suppliers that it comes direct from sometimes. So they have their own shipping classes. We, so we use class. So if someone's orders from from one of our suppliers, sort of supplier A, they might get charged five pound fifty. And if they got um, they order something from supplier B, they might get charged two pound fifty or something. You know, for instance. So we would do by class. And um, buy items if you know you you sold you sold different types of items um, and they were really heavy. Then you might want to charge a shipping fee per item you ship. So, but normally it's going to be per order. So let's have um, priority. And also you use the pipe, which is the the straight down. Now, if it doesn't work, it may be that you're not using the right pipe or something similar. But it's on your keyboard. It's the the straight line going down without any gaps or anything so let's have uh, plus two pounds and then we would have um, order like that <clears throat> now here here's additional cost so again per order so any class is going to be two pound fifty £2.95 okay and you can also charge a handling fee if you wanted to but that would be the standard cost of shipping there and then that would be my priority there so I'm going to enable that save changes and then we'll go and see what it looks like over on the on the um, front end so as you can see in the in the checkout, I've added um, an item here, and I'm having these options come up. So flat rate, 
which is the standard, priority which I entered, which is adding an extra two pounds on, and then this one was from when I before I added on before I did the demo. So you can have, you know, this is how you can add additional options of shipping at the checkout.